Hey guys, welcome to the weekly tarot forecast for the Numinous, week beginning February the 29th. I'm Lindsay Mack, and the card that I've pulled for us is the devil or oppression in the Star Child Tarot. So I'm going to dive right in because there's a lot to say. This is a really big week. This is important. It's intense. Um, it is going to call up a lot of stuff for us, but it's all wonderful. It's all really, really good. Intense, but good. The devil card is not a bad card. You don't have to be scared of it. It's awesome. Um, the devil or oppression, as known in the star child, oppression is a perfect word for it because the devil really has to do with calling to mind, asking us to really dive in deeply around the areas where we hold addictive tendencies. And that can be you know, our mind might go to drugs, to alcohol, to a certain person perhaps, to food, to shopping. But our brain gets addicted to thoughts. Our brain gets addicted to the story that we're not lovable. Our brain gets addicted to the story that we're not okay, that we're not good, we're not healthy, or we have to lose weight to do X, Y, Z. Those are all addictions. The reason that they're addictions is because we believe them. So if our brain goes, hey, you know, you can't wear that, you have to be thinner, then it's just served you up a shot at the bar of that toxic thought. And what do we do? We order up 20 more of the same. Oh my God, I'm right. You know, everyone's thinking that. I shouldn't wear that. Da -da 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 -da. And all of a sudden you're quote unquote wasted, right? So we don't actually need to go to the bar to get really hung over and kind of fucked up on our brain's chemical invitations. That's a lot of what we're going to be dealing with this week. And why? Because the devil card offers the opportunity for freedom from all of that oppression. Oppression truly is the perfect word for it because those things keep us oppressed. They don't match the truth of our wildness, of our souls. And that's what this time is all about. You know, our planet is in a really, really, really huge expansion. We are all in that expansion. I mean, the full moon last week was intense enough to show us that we're changing. So this is essentially a black salt week, which is something that came through when I was channeling this card. And if you don't know about black salt, it's a really useful tool in a witch's arch arsenal <laughs> um, and can be used to sprinkle over an area over uh, your tarot cards to offer the deepest detoxification and clearing possible. And I think the devil is kind of sprinkling black salt on us, on a soul level, inviting us to really let all that addictive old stuff bubble up so we get to say no thank you to it. So we get to see we're not our mind. So we get to see that we don't have to believe it. Once we're not identified with our thinking, we're free immediately. We might still be uncomfortable, but that's okay. We're free. A lot of really good shit in life is uncomfortable. Workouts, birth, a lot of good stuff. So trust that. This is also a week beyond welcoming all of that big detoxing and clearing to move your body. Get all of this up and out. Don't sit with it. Walk, run, breathe, scream, orgasm, whatever you got to do. This is going to be really powerful medicine specifically for Aries this month in general, but it's good for all of us. Um, and the other thing that's really important to understand about all of the intensity and the detoxification that the devil is bringing to us is that it's all in service of next week's new moon. So we have a new moon eclipse and Eclipses are essentially black salts too, because it's a sweeping away. It's a huge clearing. We want to get all this stuff up and out so that the new moon can sweep it away and offer us the richest, most beautiful new beginning possible. It's really good. So this is an intense week, but it's going to be great. So really trust it, move your body, move with the tides of this time and let everything that doesn't serve you come up so you can be free. Until next week, have a good one.